Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 practical series. Uh, in this particular practical, we will do some uh, operations with respect to registers. As the first one, uh, subtract two 8 bit numbers. So, there can be various programs for this subtract two 8 bit numbers. I have considered this one. So, we have to subtract the number 889 from C4 and store the result in register D. So, we have to do C4 minus 89, that is what is given. So, what we do? of course there are various ways to perform this practical but i prefer this one so what we do mvic 89h mvi a c 4h so we store the given numbers in the register and subtract them and because we have to store it d so that is the last step i'll explain this program so this is the program okay so the first uh, instruction mvic so when this instruction is executed this uh, 89 will be this one so this 89 will be stored in register c with the second instruction MVI C4, C4 will get stored in this register A with sub C. Sub C means what? A equal to A minus C. So that is what will be done. Will be done C4 minus 89. Whatever result we are getting, that result will be stored in A. So uh, we want to store the result in register D. So therefore we do this instruction move D comma I. So the result from A will be stored in D. So whatever result we are getting here, okay. So that result will be stored in this register D. Now let us execute this program on uh, Jubin simulator. So we have just found this hex code for each and every instruction. So MVIC is 2 byte. So we have run this pro uh, program from 8000 to 8006. And these are the hex code. So we will enter the memory location and the hex code in the machine. Okay. So this is the simulator. So we press the reset key. Then set. So 8000 will start program from 8000. So at 8000, I will just press INR or I can also enter, uh, press the enter key. Okay. So 0E, the first code is 0E. Next is 89. Okay. The next code is 3E. Then the next code is C4. The next code is 91. Next is 57 and 76 one more enter now we have to execute the code so reset go 8000 and execute now code is executed okay now we have to check the register so reset reg so first uh, we will check the answer in a so you have to press here a so it is 3b and the same answer will be in, uh, in register d also as you can see 3b is the answer so if we subtract the two numbers we get the answer as 3b now let us go to the second problem the second pro now there is a second program which is given as subtract the 16 bit number in memory locations 4002 and 4003h from the 16 bit number in locations 4000h and 4001h the most significant 8 bits of the two numbers are in memory location 4001 and 4003 store the result in memory location 4004 and 4005 the most significant byte is in location 4005 so we are given 16 bit numbers and we have to subtract them and those numbers they are in the memory location so first of all we understand what we have to do so this is uh, what I've done so see this is what we are given we have to subtract the numbers like I, I've just given take an example because unless we take some example we can't understand so suppose we want to subtract 2030 from uh, we have to subtract this uh, number th uh, in such a way that 2030 minus 1015 so the number 2030 is stored in memory location 4000 and 4001 such that the low order bits they are stored at 4000 the higher order bit they are at 4001 and the second number 15 is stored here okay in 4002 and the higher order 10 is stored here so we have to, we have to perform this subtraction Okay, 2030 minus 1050 so this is the number they are stored in this particular order and we will do this 16 bit subtraction so actually in uh, 805 there is a provision to perform only 8 bits at a time but how let us see how we can do with uh, this uh, 16 bit so the first instruction is LHLD 4000H now what this LHLD does LHLD uh, it is load HL register with the data on the memory location so what does it do LHLD 4000 it will store the contents of memory location 4000 
to L, okay, and the next byte to H. So which LHLD 4000? The data at 4000, as we can see, is 30. So this 30 it gets stored to L, the low order byte, and the next one is for at 4001. So this instruction, this particular byte 20 gets stored here. Okay, so we get this data into HNL. Okay, continuous data. Then with XCHG exchange okay so this uh, this particular instruction it exchange the contents of hl with d such that uh, whatever is in d suppose what if we there is suppose 00 and 00 here so this data from h goes to d and data from d comes to h okay they are exchanged and from e to l and l to e they are exchanged so what will happen after this is that 2030 okay will come here and suppose there was 0 0 there okay so this is where we will come here now next again we do this instruction LHLD 4002 now with this 4002 what will happen is that the data at 4002 it will come to register L so it will come here at register L okay so this will become 15 okay and then the next data byte that is 10 will come to H so what we have is here we have 15 and here we have one zero so now data whatever data was in the memory they have come to the register pairs now next step what we do that uh, we know that we cannot do any subtraction or addition without uh, a so we need to transfer this with some exceptions we do we have to transfer the data so what we do is we transfer this e okay this with this instruction move a comma e we transfer this data to register a so a becomes three zero okay now sub l what will sub l do sub l will subtract the contents of register a it will do a minus l okay subtract so it will do a minus l and the result will be stored in register a okay so this low order subtraction so what it will do it will do a equal to a minus l okay and that because the data is stored in a okay we so sub sub l will subtract do, do the subtraction with move l comma a the data from a will be stored back again to l okay so what data we have here would be the subtraction of the low order bytes okay so i will write this as suppose x x i don't know what the answer would be let us take it as x x the, the low order byte is subtracted now we have to do the high order subtraction so what we do we do tra we transfer this d to a okay this d contains two zero this gets stored to a so a also becomes two zero then Okay, a becomes 2 0 okay then what we do is sbbh what is sbb and sub what is the difference between sbb and subl sub sbb means subtract with borrow okay so it will do a minus h and suppose if there had been any borrow in the previous subtraction it will also subtract that particular uh, number okay because it may happen that a borrow may have been generated so that has to be taken into account so this instruction will take into account that borrow which, uh, which was generated in the previous subtraction because it is a 16-bit subtraction so uh, the result will be stored in register a after that so what we do we move h comma l okay it should be h comma a sorry it should be h comma a so what we do is we store the result from a to register h okay because the result is stored in a uh, so a to h okay so now this h will get the data okay suppose the data is what is y y okay the subtraction now this is the final result and we have to store it at 4004 so we execute this instruction SHLD so this will store the data from register L to this particular memory location okay and the next data byte of H to this memory location which is our result so that is how we do this let us perform it on uh, that Jubin simulator by the way we can see this code okay we have to because we have to enter the code so these are the codes okay so these are the codes so i made a mistake it is move h comma a not uh, that was the mistake l h comma l it is h comma a so this 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 is the mnemonics and the hex code we will enter this into the machine okay with the same data okay so the very first thing we'll do is to enter the data okay so reset set okay. so we have to enter in the 4000 so inr okay this is 30 then next is two zero then next is one five and next is one zero and i'll just put one more next and next is there's nothing here 
so after we run the program we will get the result in 4004 and 4005 now i will just enter the program okay i am just skipping this part i am not showing this because it will just waste the time i will now enter the program okay you, you just enter the codes from the memory from that particular program memory location as well as hex code So now we check the result. Okay. So press the reset key. Go eight zero 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 and execute. Okay. After executing, we need to check the result. So the result is actually in four zero zero four. So reset, examine memory four zero zero four INR. So we get this one B and one zero. Okay. So our answer is. 101B. Okay, this is our answer. This is the third program. It's given find the ones complement of the number stored at memory location 4400H and store the complemented number at memory location 4300H. So we need to find the ones complement of a number which is stored at 4400H. Let us first understand the prog the program. Okay, the solution. So the first instruction we use LDA 4400H. Now what this LDA means, LDA means load accumulator direct. This instruction will store the content of memory location 4400 in register A. So at 440 as we can see it is 55. So this 55 will get stored in register A. Okay. So this instruction will do this. Second is CMA. The instruction CMA it complements the contents of register A. Okay, so whatever is in register A will be complemented. Complement is what? All zeros will become 1 and 1 will become 0. So in A we have 5, 5. So 5, 5 we write in this uh, binary. So it is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So the complement will become 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and 1, 0. So the answer will be A, A. So in after this C, M, A, the answer which is in A would be A, A. Now next what we do is S, T, A. STS store accumulator direct it will store the contents of register A to memory location 4300 so this is what we get here A, A the complemented data will be stored in this location now let us run this in Jobin simulator so first of all we so store some data at 4400 okay. so reset set 4400 I know. So I'll store your 55. Five, okay. And then we come to the program. Reset set. Okay. 800. Okay. So your first instruction is 3A. Next is 00. zero. Then 442F. 32. Zero zero four three seven six. Now for executing, reset, go eight zero 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 and execute. Now we check the memory location directly four <coughs> three zero zero. So reset, set. So we must get A A. So we got it. That's how we do this particular practical. Now let's go to the fourth one. So this is the fourth and the last program of this particular practical. So find two complement of a number stored at memory location 4200 and store the complemented number at memory location 4300. This is almost similar to the previous one. Only the difference is that uh, we need to add one to the complemented number. That's all. So uh, what do we do? The first instruction LDA 4200 it will store the content from 4200 to register A okay. and this instruction CMA it will complement the contents of register A okay. and uh, ADI 01 what is this ADI add immediate so what does it do it will add 1 to this particular A uh, that is ADI that is the complemented data okay. so how do we find 2's complement it is very easy to find 2's complement 
first we find the ones complement and then add one so that is this add addition one will ensure that we are getting the twos complement now the result we are getting is in a okay with sta4300 it will store the content of register a to 4300 so that's how we execute this program okay you can do it it's very easy similar to the previous one so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching